Hi everyone and welcome to our next tutorial. In this tutorial here we are going to take a look at how the display works on the EV3. First we're going to learn how to power it up so press the center button on the button panel and it will turn red and it will boot up. Now I warn you it does take a while to boot up so you do have to sit and wait for it. It has to load a lot of the software inside the robot. So like I said press the button you'll see the lights turn red and light up and then it will give you this menu here. Now you've got three different tabs here and the first tab is you can see what has been played inside the robot. In other words, we can see what programs have run and there's a program called using counters and that's the one program in here. If you press the right tab you get to the next one and if you go inside that folder then you can see what programs are actually loaded inside the robot. So always go in there check that second tab. The last tab is a port view and motor control view and we can actually look at things like actively how the sensors are working. So we can look at the touch sensor and we can actually determine whether or not it's working properly. We can put it in this mode and you can see that when the sensor is being touched it changes from a logic 0 to a logic 1. And we could also check the color sensor as well. We could check the ultrasonic sensor as well. So it's a little bit difficult to see here, but you can see pressing the touch sensor, it changes from a logic zero to a logic one. So you can check the sensors in there as well. Now, if you want to turn it off, you're going to hit the upper left button twice and they'll use the right arrow and that will give you the option to shut down the unit just like when it starts up it takes a while for the unit to shut down that's it for this tutorial take care we'll talk to you soon